So I went online to see if I can find if someone made a red dot. And this is one of the closest thing I've found, but it's made for a nerf gun. So I had to modify it a little bit so it can fit the airsoft that I have. So I got this part and had to make this on in a infusion. I made it a little bit bigger so it can fit a bigger battery. I hot glued these metal pieces here that I took from a remote controller. Took it off and just glued it on here. So I modify a little bit so it can fit onto these things. So this can fit on here. And then this is supposed to go on top and close so it looks like that. But first I gotta wire an LED right there. That's where the LED fits. I gotta drill a little hole so it comes out through here. And then I gotta get a plastic piece so it can reflect off to make a dot. So that's what I'm gonna do. Another thing, there's a switch slot here, right here. There's a slot that a switch goes in. So I'll show you when I when I when I finish. Okay. So right here, we got to finish product. I wired this side as a positive, and then I wired it to a switch right here. So I glued in a switch. I don't know if you can see that clearly. There's a switch right there. And then I wired that to a resistor and then to an LED that's in here. And then I wired the negative to the other side. And then since I put the battery, I cut this deeper so the battery can fit in here. This is just glue, hot glue. So I did it like as a uh, protective layer for the battery. So I got the battery here and I use this to remove the battery. So if I put it in, there you go. See, I won't be able to take it out. It's stuck in there. So I use this to take it out. And then here is a switch. Since I put the switch in here, there's like a little groove in here that allows me to turn it. And if I turn it on, you'll see it come on. And then this, I just used a CD case as a um, to reflect the LED. So if I turn it on, there you see the light. But yeah, in person, the dot's a lot smaller, not that. I'm gonna go outside and test to see how accurate this is. All right, so right here, I have the top piece. And then I got the, the mount for the gun. Put this on here. Clip it in like that clip then and then here get it here and then you can put a screw in here but I don't have one so I'm just gonna look that for now and then for the light I don't know if you can see that well you can see it they're better that's how small it is see I'll turn it off and turn it on there you go to test how well this site is, I have cups over there. I mean, not cups, cans. So I'll be shooting out to this site. All right, just to show you how accurate this thing is, I'm gonna go for that orange can over there. Just to show you how accurate this gun is, I'm going for that orange can over there. I'm gonna go for that uh, purple can there. Oh. Damn it. This sight sucks, man. There we go. <laughs> As you can see, this sight is very, very, very accurate. Now for that last one, I'm gonna try to shoot it. Let me show you how accurate it is with this red, with this red dot. So to conclude this, what I want to say though, even though you didn't see me, you didn't see exactly me shooting through the dot, this can be accurate if you fix the lens. It's kind of tedious 
and it took me a long time to figure out like where's the perfect spot but once you figure it out and you keep it that way and you glue it in place and you can write you can draw some markings remember it can be really accurate good starter project I'll probably make more stuff I don't know what to make um, I'll just I'll just come up with something or or get inspiration but for now this is I saw something like this and I wanted I want a red dot but didn't want to buy it said to make one bad choice because buy one is probably more accurate than, than this 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 thing so you choose what you want what to do and uh yeah